The relationship between John Lennon and Yoko Ono is one of legends, but that legend has obscured the truth behind their unusual partnership, which included Lennon leaving Ono for an extended affair with their assistant. So, what was the true source of their unbreakable bond? It ultimately stemmed from their shared artistic vision. They met at one of her art shows in 1966. Despite Lennon's worldwide fame as part of the Beatles, Lennon later told Rolling Stone that she didn't know who he was, saying, she'd only heard of Ringo, I think. She later approached him for financial backing for one of her art shows and gave him a copy of her book, Grapefruit. And in reading the book, he said, he began to fall in love with her. Though Lennon's collaborations with Paul McCartney made them icons, Lennon told Rolling Stone that it was Yoko who was the true artistic genius. Yoko is as important to me as Paul and Dylan rolled into one. I don't think she will get recognition until she's dead. There's me, and maybe I could count the people on one hand that have any conception of what she is, or what her mind is like, or what her work means. While Lennon's then-wife Cynthia was away, he invited Ono over to his house. He played recordings for her, the two collaborated on the song Two Virgins, and then according to Lennon, they made love at dawn. Cynthia later told NPR, I came home and they were there, which was sort of curtains for our marriage, as far as all of us were concerned. John and Cynthia divorced in November 1968. Lennon began bringing Ono to rehearsals and recording sessions with the other Beatles, and they married on March 20th, 1969. Soon after their wedding, Ono and Lennon began pursuing their own spirituality in their so-called bagism period. During this time, they hosted a series of staged bed-ins, like sit-ins, but from a bed to protest war. Bagism was essentially an anti-discrimination movement, illustrated by the idea that if everyone lived inside a bag, they couldn't be judged by their physical attributes, such as their gender or the color of their skin, but only by their ideas. The protests brought worldwide attention, but Beatles fans quickly soured on Ono. According to Rolling Stone, Ono wanted to join the Beatles, an idea that John supported, but the others did not. At the same time, George Harrison was experiencing his own frustrations with the band. On January 10th, 1969, Harrison walked out during a recording session. Ono sat in. Though Harrison eventually returned, the incident didn't help matters. In September 1969, Lennon privately told the other members of the group that he was leaving the Beatles. When news of the band's breakup went public in 1970, it was Yoko who took most of the blame. According to Rolling Stone, the anger from Beatles fans spilled over into racial abuse. But Ono herself told Vogue that the band was so strongly tied together that no outside force could really be held responsible for breaking them up. And McCartney later told Howard Stern that although at the time they found Ono's presence at recording sessions to be weird, in retrospect, it wasn't such a big deal. But looking back on it, you think the guy was totally in love with her. Yeah. And, you know, you've, you've just got to respect that. So we did, and I do. Still, despite their love, the relationship between Lennon and Ono had its difficult moments. In fact, one of those moments lasted 18 months. In 1973, Lennon left Ono for what he euphemistically called a long weekend, which was actually a love affair with their assistant, Mei Pang. Ono wasn't upset about it. On the contrary, she helped set it up, telling The Telegraph in 2012, The affair was not something that was hurtful to me. I needed a rest. I was prepared to lose him, but it was better he came back. Ono and Lennon reconciled and went on to have a son, Sean, born in October 1975. Lennon effectively retired from music for five years to help raise their son. He and Ono collaborated on his comeback album, 1980's Double Fantasy. But just three weeks after it was released, Lennon was murdered by a deranged fan on December 8, 1980. He died with Ono by his side.